Now it's time to add sensor functionality to the nano mouse. To do this, we're going to create a class for this purpose from the outset. To do so, we need to navigate to the location where our code is stored and create a new file called nano mouse sensors dot h. When I double click on the IDE, I should see three, or the file, it'll open the IDE, and I should see three tabs pop up, one of which is nano mouse sensors. Just like I did with the nano mouse motors um, file, I need to include the, I need to um, include the Arduino.h file or library right off the bat. The next thing I'm going to do uh, is use a rarely used feature of the C, C++ programming language, and that is templates. Um, I'm going to use it to pass information uh, to this class when I create a sensor object. Uh, this only works if I'm passing constants, but it works very well when I'm creating constants. I'm creating a class now called Nano Mouse Sensors. Notice this name is the same as this name up here. Uh, to begin with, I am going to create a single function, a public function that can be accessed outside this class, and the function is going to be called View. We are going to view our sensor, and we're going to do it by printing to the serial monitor using the serial.print line command. If you are unfamiliar with uh, the serial communication uh, in Arduino, then I highly recommend that you watch Jeremy Bloom's uh, video on the topic, which I have referenced on my website. Basically, what we're doing here is when view is called, it will print some. It will print this analog value that we're reading from our front detector which eventually we will find out which pin it's connected to when we create uh, this object and it will do it'll print this and then it'll do it again and again um, adding this new line character uh, after each print this is the extent of our class at this point in time it's all it all that we need here now we need to go back to our main code and add a few lines. First thing we need to do is add and include for the nano mouse sensors file. Next, I need to actually create the object and I'm going to do it in this fashion, nano mouse sensors and I'm gonna follow it by a6 and what this is doing is it's passing this information this a6 into this class right here as the front detector and so I'm, I'm able to define the front detector as A6 simply by including this little bit of code after nano mouse sensors because I created a template. I'm going to call this object the sensors object. And then the next thing I need to do is in my setup. begin serial communication. So I'll say serial dot begin 9600. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this polygon code here. I won't need that for now. And then in the loop I am going to put a simple command, two simple commands, which is sensors.view 
So I'm calling the object that I created, the sensors object, and then the function that I created for that object. And then I'm going to have it delay for just a hundred milliseconds because that's going to, otherwise it'll show me at every several microseconds, which is going to be way too much information. Now that I have all of the code that I need, I'm going to go ahead and verify it. Make sure it's going to compile. It looks like it's going to work. So now I'm just going to go ahead and download it. And I'm going to click on this serial monitor button here so that as soon as it's downloaded, it'll pop up and I'll be able to see what I want to see. And when I press the button, when I have my hand over it, the value goes down. When I take my hand away, the value goes up.